the vaccine news coming fast and furious today. Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech now announcing they have begun their pivotal phase 2-3 trial of their COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, that's beginning in the United States. They plan to enroll, just like Moderna, up to 30,000 participants. Uh, they're going to have more than 100 trial sites around the globe, but the first ones uh, here in the United States, I'm being told that the first patients either have been dosed or are being dosed uh, imminently. And now they are going to be enrolling around the world as well, including in Argentina, Brazil, and in Germany. Uh, so this will enroll uh, up to 30,000 people ages 18 to 85 on that one-to-one -one ratio of vaccine versus placebo. So similar there in terms of the Moderna vaccine candidate. Melissa, here's the really interesting part about today's news. Pfizer and BioNTech were evaluating four different vaccine candidates uh, to take the best one forward. And the one that they have selected is actually one that they hadn't yet presented the data on. So we saw data on one candidate. They looked pretty good was the assessment uh, from uh, experts in the field. Uh, presumably the candidate that they selected looks even better and Pfizer in its release saying especially on the tolerability levels. It sounds like the um, efficacy at least in the early stages of trials that they've seen so far is similar to what they've already presented in terms of the neutralizing antibody levels and the T cell levels uh, but that it is more tolerable. They didn't see the same side effects like fatigue, headache, things like that. Notably, with the vaccine that they already presented information on, 75% of people on the 30 microgram dose, which is the dose they're taking forward, had fever after the second shot. So this will be two shots at that 30 microgram dose. They are also saying that they have data on older adults on this vaccine from the early trials uh, that also looked good. The neutralizing antibody titers were higher than what they saw in people who were exposed to uh, SARS-CoV-2 mel. Uh, so that is the new from Pfizer and BioNTech right now. Um, and we should note, of course, Moderna also announced today it started its phase three. So this race is just kicking off in the pivotal trials for potential um, approval if these if these vaccines do well. Back over to you. Meg, I'm, I'm just curious in terms of how the phases are conducted. Phase three, as I understand it in vaccine trials, is usually when you determine how long the vaccine lasts in terms of protection. Um, these are very compressed studies, and so will we actually have a good handle on how long protection lasts, or is it just going to be we're going to we're going to determine this once it's distributed and in the field? Yeah, like everything with this pandemic, things are being done very differently. Mm -hmm. So Pfizer is talking about potentially being in a position to apply for regulatory review by October. So if they're just starting now, clearly by that point, we'll only know a few months worth of protection data. So they're going to be following the participants in this study over a longer period of time to see how long uh, any protection does last, but the trial will essentially be continuing even if these vaccines are given some kind of emergency use authorization. Right. Meg, thanks. Meg Terrell, keeping on top of all of these developments. Um, Guy Adami, I asked that question because, well, I mean, it seems like the market has sort of had, had a dulled response to each incremental dose, excuse the pun, of vaccine news. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, the assumption is that a vaccine comes out and that to some degree it's a light switch for people to resume economic activity. From what Meg is telling us, it, it's not a light switch. It's sort of like maybe it's on, maybe it's off. I mean, I, I, I don't yeah. know, you know, if you get a vaccine, if you're going to change your behavior, at least in the first batch. Yeah, I, well, personally, I don't, I don't think so necessarily in vaccines. And again, I'm, I'm not a, a virologist, as they say, but vaccines is not one of those things you want to rush to get to market, uh, if you know what I mean. There's a reason why these things take 18 months to two years, and that's because of the trials that people have to go through. And that's because of how fastidious these companies have to be in order to get them to market. So although they might rush this one through, you have to ask yourself, I mean, the, the polls say 40 percent of the people wouldn't take a vaccine right now anyway. So, you know, I understand why the headline would be bullish for the market. But in, in reality, I'm not certain that's as bullish as people think. I'm in that 40 percent, too, by the way, uh, Tim Seymour. At the same time, I mean, would you would you choose to if you had to choose a vaccine to take, let's say all of them were. Ooh. Would you would you take the one from a Moderna, which which when it entered 2020 had 20 candidates for drugs not yet approved and, and wasn't expected to hit the market for two to four years, 
or would you take a vaccine from Pfizer? And I'm only asking this. I'm not saying one's going to win, one's not going to win. But from an investor standpoint, this is an important question. Yeah, and, and I won't tongue in cheek say this is a, a would you rather I'd rather not be a part of. Um, but I, I think that's, you know, we have a dynamic here where uh, these are just headlines. And, and Meg has gone into some great detail talking about the, the size of these studies and that the bar is so high in the United States that uh, on a monthly basis, we need to get an announcement on where the leadership is uh, on a vaccine process that has, again, this massive, uh, massive study. So I, I don't think that these announcements are market moving. And I would I guess I would chime in and say the same thing. I, I think folks are ultimately going to decide for themselves and the light switch is not necessarily necessarily going to be flipped on or off. And that's why we are seeing the reactions in those most hard hit uh, hospitality sectors, et cetera. Uh, I, I don't think that people are going straight back in. Otherwise, those are trades you could be in right now. Uh, but the vaccines are a guidepost at best. They're not they're not market trading events like they were two months ago.